Hi, my name is Roger Warnock and today we want to talk about a charity that I run called Bites here in Belfast. It's a charity that uses technology to work with some of the most vulnerable young people to sort of show them how they can get into technology jobs here in Northern Ireland. So welcome to Profile 3 TV and today we're very excited to be talking to Roger Warnock and we're going to talk about the Bites project. So Roger, thank you for coming in and having a chat with us today. So uh, would you mind telling us uh, a little bit about yourself and your background? Yeah, so I'm currently um, director of Bytes, uh, which is charity in Belfast, but been around the sort of social enterprise sector and social innovation sector probably for 20 years. And then prior to that, ran my own businesses and was in the corporate world. So many years ago, sort of saw the light and left the corporate world for all the bad things it is and got, and got into the charity sector and social enterprise. So, but my main passion is young people. So initially with working with the Young, um, the young Foundation, uh, Princess Trust, various organisations I've got over the years, which has kind of led me to where I am now with Bites, which is working with vulnerable young people across Northern Ireland and a bit in the Republic of Ireland as well. Amazing. And, and Bites actually has an impressive pedigree. It's it's not a, a, something that's new. So if anyone hasn't heard about this, uh, you wouldn't mind just taking us through a little bit of its history and what, what actually you really... Are focused on? Yeah, well, well, Bytes has been around since 1993. So it came out of a project in the States, out of San Diego, I think, which was called Bytes for Bullets. Um, so obviously back in 1993, we had the troubles as well. So it was seen as a model to bring to Northern Ireland to work with vulnerable young people, or disadvantaged young people, as they called it in those days, which I, I don't like that term, you know, or vulnerable young people, young people are young people. Um, so it had a really impressive group of people working there. And Sir George Quigley was involved, Apple was involved in, in funding the organization. And it's gone from there, really, for years, working with thousands of young people across Northern Ireland, helping them get into technology, into jobs, employability, skills and training. So, that's, you know, that's sort of the foundation block is around using technology to support young people. It's so. incredible. And it's so, so important as well. Today. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and, and social innovation, you would mind explain to us what that, what that is? Yeah, well, that's, that's probably a bit newer. Um, so I first kind of came across social innovation. I did a couple of years actually in government, um, mm -hmm. working in the Department of Economy, and I'm interested in, in innovation in general and technology, but always wanted to know, well, what about this tech for good? What about social innovation? How do we apply that to, you know, solving a lot of the, cause, the social issues that are around Northern Ireland for their field. So that's what it is. Social innovation is just a different way of using innovation to solve social issues in society. So how do we, whether it's through technology or it could be something very simple about opening a cafe and employing young people to, to run that cafe or whatever, so you're giving them jobs and then come back into it. So it, it, it's, it's just really new things, finding new novel ways of tackling social issues. Amazing, excellent. And uh, you, you believe it's important then for everyone including obviously Northern Ireland. Yeah absolutely if you know you think of innovation in the main world we need that to move forward so the Facebooks and everything else if we don't have those we don't move forward as a, as a society but the backdraft of that is the social issues that fall out of that those young people maybe or those people who don't get the jobs or don't have the education so how do you work with them so that's where the social innovation comes in and it doesn't doesn't have to be third sector organisations charities that do that there's plenty of private sector organisations and government Departments that use social innovation to solve those issues as well. So it's it's totally multi-sectoral, which makes it even more important to use. Wow. And how does technology then come into uh, the innovation? Is it? Um, well, it's it's the same way. You know, you, you know, if you look at some of the work that we do in Bytes, it could be very simple technology using the lights of Facebook for young people to express their views. It's a voice. It gives them something to do. It could be using YouTube, teach young people how to use digital media. And, and put a movie onto YouTube about, I don't know, suicide, depression, mental health, something like that. So you get that out there. So it can be very simple. Or like some of the work we're doing now where we're actually designing technology to develop a platform where we listen to those voices. So it can be at both ends of the spectrum. Yeah. Because it's very broad. Incredible. And again, I, can, I know even with people we work with, but giving people, empowering mm -hmm. young people to use the like platforms like YouTube. Yeah. Uh, incredible. It gives, gives them a voice, uh, a sense of purpose. But then who knows how many people are watching that content and actually Absolutely. they are helping as well so it's yeah. a, a knock-on uh, yeah. uh, effect so so you're looking at obviously digital skills and then actual hard technology yeah well. so we with invites again we start with young children around age eight with megabytes clubs that are funded by belfast city council which starts to get them thinking about robotics coding all those basics of technology so what we're about is about partly inspiring them partly 
showing them what's out there. What if you know, they keep at that for the next six or seven, eight years, they could get into good technology jobs. Um, you know, Bytes recently went through when I came in to understand why we exist. And we've got that nailed down now to basically Bytes is about inspiring young change makers to hack their world for good. So everything we do is around that. Mm -hmm. So if, if you ask anyone within Bytes what Bytes is about, that's what they'll tell you. Mm -hmm. So the hack is very important in there because of the technology and their world as well. This is about young people looking at their world, not the broader world, yeah. which impacts on them. Very good. And the hack is a cool, cool word. <laughs> yeah, well, it can actually be a negative as yeah, well. well. So yeah, we, we struggled with that for yeah. a while, but we decided, no, it's, it's a good word. Yeah, for, for sure. And uh, obviously it's a cross-community approach yeah. then. Yeah, we work right across all communities in Northern Ireland. Um, so the big signature project that we have at the minute, which is funded by the SEUPB, the Peace Fund, is uh, Peace Bites. So that works across Rathcool, Newton Abbey, and also then in Derry, Londonderry as well. So we're working with both communities in that, and that is a good relations project, bringing the both communities together. Again, using technology, using Facebook, making movies, doing social innovation projects within their communities. Amazing. So, so, sounds incredible. And, yeah. and I, I'm guessing again, so think of young people who are looking for qualifications. Mm -hmm. uh, projects like this are very important for them to try and achieve that. Yeah, I think it's not necessarily that, they, you know, we do do OCNs with these people, uh, sorry, young people, um, which is great, but I'm a believer it's more about passion and enthusiasm as well, so it's about drawing that out of the young people as well and actually showing them a path, you know, if you actually do this and you have creativity or some skills you can get to here, the OCNs, the qualifications are just part of that jigsaw, so how do we build all that around them? It's the support structure, the mentoring that's really important, because a lot of these a lot of these young people are very low in self-esteem, confidence, uh, may have mental health issues, stuff like that. So you've got to be aware of all of that as well. Mm -hmm. And it's actually it's interesting, again, back to the qualifications. Well, qualifications are important. It's mm -hmm. actually the practical experience and, and what someone can do and, and their skills and, yeah. and their attitude, as you're saying, is more important than anything. Yeah, absolutely. You know, you know yourself, you're probably in positions where you've gone for jobs. They're more interested in the experience on the practical side than what's on your paper. As we spoke beforehand, I have a zoology and geography degree. Totally n nonsense compared to what the work that I do. But it's all the work in between that's the useful stuff. Amazing. And, and you're under a, a rapid uh, development project or plan for, you, for Bytes now as well? Yeah, as I say, I came in seven, eight months ago now as the director. Um, and it is about getting back to our roots. It's about technology. How do we use technology? And a big piece of that is actually developing our own technology. So we're going through that process of learning how startups, tech startups do it as well, and how do we raise the funds to do that. Um, but that technology will then create the platform that informs us how we work with young people going forward. Uh, so it's a learning process for us as well. Incredible. So you're, you're actually taking the mindset that, and run the startup as a tech startup then yeah, as well? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Wow. That side of it. So it's called our Life Hack Labs. And then underneath that is Voices for Impact, which is the technology platform we're, we're just starting to build, which we just got development money from both Education Authority and, uh, well, the big lottery is now called the, the Community Fund, uh, wow. rather than you name for it. So that's, uh, uh, the yeah, portfolio yeah. funds in London. So. Amazing. Everything keeps changing the Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, I keep calling it big. Oh, so, oh, well, that's yeah. very good. And, and so it sounds like you have a couple of programmes then running there. Yeah, at the minute we probably... I would say have eight or nine programs running at the minute. Um, we have the big signature Peace Bites program, which is a multi-year program. Mm -hmm. uh, big lottery program, Exodus, has just finished. So we're in a phase now where we're working across seven or eight, what I call development grants, working on different strands of projects. Uh, and then in behind that, we're working on the, the big project uh, proposals again, which will hopefully feed into the end of the year, okay. where we start working on multi-year programs again. So Excellent. So, so basically, young people, in our community can go and actually engage and, and, and discover yeah. different types of technology, whatever their interest is, mm -hmm. if you've got a programme running that's suitable, and immerse themselves in that for a period of time. Yeah, uh, yeah absolutely. B Bites are some of the best youth workers in Northern Ireland. You know, I'm, I'm daily impressed by what they do uh, and some of the stuff that they have to you know, address and work with as well. Mm -hmm. Tough, tough issues. Um, but they inspire those young people to look at further afield, what, what can be positive in their lives, so it could be a young person who's homeless, how do they get themselves back on track, get themselves into a job, it may not be a technology job, um, but that's our core aim is to try and use technology to help them and mentor them, so absolutely, yeah. Crap, I've seen some of the videos of some of, some of your yeah. team online, so very, yeah. very impressive. That's a big thing going forward for Bytes that we want 
to use video content on YouTube and Vimeo and stuff like that to really tell people our story. Yeah. But also, that tells a bite story, but also tells the stories of the young people as well. Incredible. And actually, we're playing around with using gaming as a way of of young people telling their stories as well. So we're working with Kippy up in Derry, oh. uh, Londonderry, who are, they do that, they use games to, for young people to express themselves, so we're working with them to see how that feeds into work as well. Incredible, sounds yeah. amazing. So what, what's the what's the future then, what's the roadmap? Uh, what's what's next over the next couple of years? Uh, it's a bit frantic at the minute, we're trying to figure all that out. Um, I'm lucky in that I have a very strong team within Bytes, who, some of them, as I say, very impressive youth workers, some are very creative as well, so we're piecing all that together. So to us, it's about developing our own technology over the next few years. Mm -hmm. It's staying core to what we're about, which is what we call our core projects, which is around employability, using technology, around skills, training, stuff like that, uh, and just supporting and mentoring young people, and then Peace Bites, which is a big chunk of work uh, for the next two or three years, which is led by Una, who's one of the programme lead in that, mm -hmm. uh, with her team, so she has 25, 26 staff working across both Antrim, Newton Abbey, and in the northwest and, and Derry, Strabane, that sort of area as well. Incredible. So, uh, so we're pretty busy. Very busy. I'm I'm impressed. That's a, a big big. Uh, I, and I, again, I would heard I'd heard of the project, but actually it wasn't until uh, we were we were chatting. And I I dug deeper and went online and, yeah. and watched some of the content. I was I was really impressed. I have to say. Yeah, Byte Byte is one of those organisations. As I said, it it had a really impressive start. Mm -hmm. uh, it's kind of I suppose like a lot of charities. It's everybody then knows about it and it kind of disappears. And I've come in the last six or seven months and kind of gone, let's get back out there again, let's start mm -hmm. talking about it. And it's so relevant, technology, young people, the fourth industrial revolution, what is the future of jobs? So we should be part of that discussion, that conversation in Northern Ireland, if not for their field. So the work we're doing with the Voices for Impact platform mm -hmm. will also be us working in London as well. So that's our first foothold into the UK as well. Cool. So, very exciting, yeah. very exciting. So for anyone watching this, um, two, two things, is there any action that you'd like people to take? Um, yeah, we're, we're keen to talk to anyone who wants to help and support us, whether it's on a pro bono stage. We're certainly interested in talking to tech companies because we know we don't know everything and we know there's a lot of talent out there. So actually there's a lot of people in the Northern Irish tech business who started in Bytes. Uh, a great example that's Marty Neal, who is the CEO of Airpos. He started his career in Bytes and there's so many more out there that we're discovering. We actually have ex Lord Mayors of Belfast, MLAs, everything out there. So that's we've brought an ex participant of one of the programmes in to actually try and find that. We've called it the Heritage Programme to find all those people. So that's the big ask. If anyone knows anyone who worked in Bytes over the years, we really want to speak to them to find out what the, the history of the organisation is. Incredible. And if anyone wants to find out more, where, where should they go? Either call into us, we're not hard to find in Twin Spires Industrial Estate, we're in the Filor building, just call in, so open door policy or just, you know, get in touch with me or, or Patrick Thompson who is our comms guy, they were the two guys to get and certainly, I don't know if you want me to give you an email now or whatever, but... It's, um, um, even even your web address? Yeah, just come on to the website, it's bytes.org. Bytes.org, brilliant, yeah, and so. we'll, we'll have a live link underneath this video, so right. anyone, uh, click below and okay. watch it. Yeah. But no, brilliant. Well, thank you very much for coming in today and telling us all about the Bytes project. Really appreciate your time. Okay, thank brilliant. you. Thank you. And, and thank you for watching. Make sure you ch click on the link below here and visit the Bytes uh, website. Check out what they're doing. Check out some of the videos. And uh, again, if you are a tech company or you believe you have something that you may be able to offer the team, please do reach out to them and uh, do offer them your support. Uh, we'll see you again tomorrow. It's Kieran here from Profile 3 and thanks for watching.